So we saw this example already, where we let uh, b be a new box, we change it and we look inside of it. Uh, what if our program to evaluate is just box of zero? The result should not be zero because it's uh, the result should be just the number zero. It's a box that contains zero. So we're going to need a new kind of value to be the result of this program box of zero. Something it'll need to be some sort of thing that uh, that represents a box, and it'll have some other value inside of it like the num v zero. So the most obvious thing to do is to represent boxes in curly using boxes in plate. So here I have my updated value data type. I've got numv and close v as before, but we have a new kind of value, box values. And a box value has inside of it, well, a plate box. And then when we want to set box these box values, we can use plates set box to implement it. If we make that choice, then our interpreter looks like this. Uh, to implement the box e expression, then you interpret the argument expression, put that into a fresh plate box. So interp gives us a capital V value. We put that value into a box, but now we have a plate box to turn it into a curly value. We wrap it with box V. This is the same way that we turn a number, a plate number, into a curly number with num V. We turn a plate box into a, a plate a curly box with box V. When we have an unbox expression, and it has an argument, then we interpret that argument and we hope to get a box back because we're trying to unbox it. In the same way that when we do plus, we interpret a sub-expression and expect to get a number back. Here we want a box v back. If we don't get a box v back, we complain. But if we do get a box v back, that means we have a plate box inside of it. That plate box has a value inside of it, so we can just pull it out with unbox. Set box is similar. We evaluate the first expression to hopefully get a box, otherwise we complain. We evaluate the second expression to get the new value to put in that box, and we put the value in the box using plates set box. Uh, in, in curly, I don't want to add a special void value, so let's define curly set box to return the new value that it put inside the box. Right? So that's why we put v here. After we change the value inside the box, we'll just return that value as the result of set box. Finally, for the begin expression, we'll implement curly's begin using plates begin just like we use plates boxes to implement curly boxes. So in other words, we do a begin, we interpret the left expression, ignore that result, and instead return the result of interpreting the right expression. So this is a, a complete and working implementation of boxes, you know, when you put it with all the other code that you can find on the web page. And we haven't learned anything about boxes. We've just said that we can implement boxes using boxes. So that's unsatisfying. As we're trying to understand state and understand the programming language uh, feature of state, we want to instead do it without using any other state. And that's what we'll do next.